Hey guys, it's Exhibitional Tech, and I'm very sorry that I haven't been here for you guys. I got a bunch of brand new stuff. In fact, I got all my stuff got replaced. I got a new laptop, new phones. I got an Android phone and an Apple phone, so I guess you can know that I'm going to be using both of them. I got a tablet and an iPad, so I'm going to be using those two, and I've got an iPod Touch. So I've got a variety of devices that I'm going to be using. And this is jailbreak update via 7 and Android update via 1. So half of the video is going to be jailbreak stuff and Apple stuff and the other half is going to be Android stuff. So let's start with the Apple stuff since that's the first thing that I decided I'm going to do. So this is Pangu jailbreak for iOS 8 working on 8.0.1 to 8.1. And it's a pretty good jailbreak. I haven't used it exactly yet because I don't want to jailbreak my device yet but I have heard that it's pretty good I have jailbreaked people, other people's device and it is working perfectly it works for iPod Touch 5, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, 5C and 5S iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, iPad Mini 1, 2 and 3 iPad, iPad Air 1 and 2 um, for Windows it's on version 1.2.1 and for Mac it's only on version 1.0.0 so as you can see from Mac they haven't really updated it at all but for Windows they've added a bunch of new stuff fixing and optimizing stuff so if you wanna get the Windows version you can just use Boot Camp on your Mac to install Windows 8 and then just download this and jailbreak your device or you could just use the Mac version which I wouldn't really make and but it's definitely up to you the next jailbreak is the Taiji jailbreak. This version works on iOS 8.0 to 8.1.2 and it works on all the devices that I just told you guys before the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 5, 5C. All you have to do is update to iOS 8. Guys, if you didn't know, iOS 8.1.3 is out and it has patched the both of these jailbreaks and they're both not working on 8.1.3. Um, I don't know if there will be an 8.1.3 jailbreak, but I am sure there will be an 8.2 jailbreak because people are still talking about how it's in the making. So, do not update to 8.1.3 until the 8.2 jailbreak comes out or the 8.2 update comes out and then the jailbreak comes out. When the jailbreak comes out, then you can update to um, 8.2 and then just jailbreak it one time. But for now, do not update to 8.2 or 8.1.2 because there is no jailbreak for it right now so that's it for jailbreaking and Apple now moving on to the Android section for you Android guys I've got um, some ROMs and an app for you guys so, so let's start off with the ROMs the first ROM is a CM12 ROM which if you guys didn't know is custom ROM for Cyanogen Mod 11, Cyanogen Mod 11 is Cyanogen Mod 12, sorry, which is Lollipop. Um, for now, it's not working on my CDMA phone, but if you guys have um, other phones, it might work for your phone. If you want to find out if it works for your phone, just go into XDA Developers and click where it says Type your define, type to find your device, and type your device. Say you have a HTC, you just put in HTC and choose which HTC you have and then go and see if you can find your CM12 ROM for me as, you can, as I said before it says dual, dual sim is working single sim is working the only for one that isn't working happens to be my phone which is the CDMA boost mobile version these guys have been working really hard to get it to work in fact they've done almost four or five builds dedicated just to CDMA and I hope they get it to work for now they haven't got it to work but I hope they do get it to work the next ROM is called is it's not really a ROM but it's an application and what it allows you to do is install Synergy Mark 11 and all you have to do is double click on it and plug in your phone but it only works on certain phones so far so I wouldn't really recommend it yet but when it gets updated and it starts to be released for other phones that is definitely when I would recommend it the next ROM is an Endrix 5 ROM. This is an amazing ROM. I'm sure most of you guys have heard about it. But if you haven't, all it is is basically Android 4.4, but they just pimped it out. It looks amazing. They've changed that UI. 
they made it look really smooth I haven't really got that much lagging this ROM there's not that much bugs in this ROM and it's very very detailed ROM the next ROM is Liquid Smooth which is the complete opposite of Endrix ROM because it hasn't got that much detail it's very low it's not low res but it's just low in um, megabytes it's only 191 megabytes it, it doesn't have that much detail at all it's just it's kind of like the slim ROM um, just the slim ROM has a few more different things the next ROM is the Tesla ROM I like I love this ROM I'm using it right now and it's basically um, from the Validus team and it's a pretty good ROM um, you can just go to your for your phone just look for Validus ROM um, right now for Moto G they have it working for obviously um, everything but my phone the 4.4.4 version is working for my phone but obviously the 5.0.2 version lollipop is not working for my phone yet but I am patient and I will wait until they get it fixed just like I will wait until they fix it on this um, people are saying this is these are gonna be the first people to fix it I don't know who's gonna fix it first I just want the lollipop ROM but as soon as it comes out I'll be releasing a bunch of videos guys explaining um, different stuff on it and what it's about so stay tuned to my channel if you want to get all of those stuff um, I think that's an, uh, all I have for the rams the next thing I have is the app so I'm guessing you probably don't know what this app is if you do then that's pretty cool what this app is is basically if you have a Chinese phone or a Chinese iPad or a Chinese tablet sorry a Chinese tablet or a Chinese phone and you cannot find a route for it at all it's just like an unknown phone that nobody's heard of this is the best app for you all you have to do is since it's updated and I haven't really been able to let it update so far but it can either say update failed it doesn't matter or it will just go through the update once the update's finished all you have to do is connect your device and click root once you click root your device will reboot twice and once it's rebooted the second time it will be rooted and you can just go into root checker download root checker and check if it's rooted if you want to um, most of these Chinese phones don't really have um, most of the Chinese phones don't really have their own apps their own ROMs so don't expect you get an amazing ROM or ROM like say Engine Mar 12 because not really people people aren't really making ROMs for those Chinese tablets. The next thing I want to show you guys, which is the last thing I'm going to show you guys, is um, a website if you want to get free games or free hacked games or free apps in general. Because some apps you have to pay for, and I don't really like paying for them because they're not really worth paying for. So like. Um, it gives you the OBB files and the data files and if you wanted to get a game like Boom Beach but it's online and that's pretty annoying you can just get the offline version of this website this is the best website I found so far for if you want to get mods and hacks for your games or if you just want to get the game itself because you do not necessarily have to get the modded version um, I'll show you that in a second you can get the offline version for Boom Beach um, and if you wanted to get a hacked version, you can just go to Asphalt 8 um, and just wait for it. Let's just, let's just wait for it to load up so I can explain to you um, what I mean. Okay, so it's loaded up and I'm just going to go to the bottom where the download links are. You do not necessarily have to get the modded version. You can just get the normal APK, but if you wanted the modded and the money and the stars you just click this APK and then click the download the data and obviously you guys should know where to put those data files if you don't it sh comes up with for certain apps it comes up with instructions for this app it doesn't really come up with instructions but I might be releasing a video on how to do it soon but for now I'm gonna leave this with Android update 1 I'll be releasing a plenty of tweaks for Android and plenty of tweaks for Apple. So if you guys are Apple and you believe I've switched over to Android, um, you're not you're not right at all. I am still on Apple. It's just that 
um, since I got my Android device I've just decided that there's no point having it around doing nothing I just need to, to use it for these videos so I can explain, show you guys different ROMs different tweaks different exposed tweaks and all different tweaks for Android so I hope you guys like this new style of um, jailbreak update and Android update um, I might be doing these two together um, monthly so if you guys like that just tell me in the, the comments and tell me how CM12 works for your phone in the comments and if it works at all this is X Original Tech remember I will be putting all links in the comments and on my website um, and one more thing I want to show you is on my website I have got it to work let me just show you it I'll add an extra W I have got it to work and I have instead of having the iOS 7 long list of tweaks I now have the iOS 8 long list of tweaks and iOS 8 seems like even though it's just came out or it feels like it's just came out but it actually has been out for a while it has a long 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 list of tweaks so you guys should definitely go and check out this um, page um, a lot of people have been inquiring about the downgrade from iOS 7.1 to 6.1.3 and how they can't get on my website to get the download stuff I'm not very sure why that is but as you can see I am on my website and I've gone on my website on other people's phones and other people's houses and it's worked perfectly I'm not sure if it's just you or other things are happening wrong the very very last thing I'm going to talk about is my YouTube channel um, I thank you guys for the 599 subscribers that's um, pretty good so far because I wasn't it, I left for a while and I was expecting that my subscribers would go down and in fact they actually went up and I'm very sorry that I haven't been posting otherwise they probably would have gone up further um, but as I said before I will start posting way more and I'm sorry about these black sides here I'm trying to get my video editing software up again um, and when I do get it working again on my new laptop I will start to add stuff to these sections like I did before on the iPhone 4 but for now it's just gonna be black I'm sorry so this is X Original Tech like subscribe and comment and don't forget to share your opinions in the comments because I am open to all suggestions on videos and anything else you want to help me on this is X Original Tech signing out peace